Here, the FBI sounding the alarm tonight about a type of fraud that has cost American consumers over $9 billion in the past five years. It's a crime that's devastated families, ravaged small businesses, and losses are growing at a record pace. The FBI recently created a specialized unit to fight this fraud and gave I-Team investigator Jack Jackie Calloway an exclusive look at their work. For the first time, the FBI is giving a public peek at a specialized unit, the first of its kind in Florida. Their job, to fight the biggest fraud in the country. Like I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. Talking about $290,000. I felt so foolish, so stupid. Horror stories, all stemming from what the FBI calls the costliest internet crime in the country. It's called the business email compromise. How big of a fraud is this? It is the top fraud that we see, receive in the number of complaints. It's the top fraud that we see in terms of the dollar value that occurs. Between 2016 and 2021, more than 59,000 Americans lost over $9 billion to BEC. How much is $9 billion? Well, it's enough to buy 9,000 $1 million homes. $9 billion would also cover the cost of the NFL's crown jewel, the Los Angeles Rams home stadium, with about $4 billion left over. Tommy couldn't stop thinking about me. And BEC losses total nearly 10 times the second costliest con in the nation, romance scams. We have so much trouble with BEC in Florida that we were able to uh, deploy more resources. To FBI Supervisory Special Agent Keith Givens heads up a newly created BEC focused unit in Orlando. 39,000 lines, okay. Every day, a team of two FBI forensic accountants, Pablo Vera and Myra Williams, race against time. Just enter the bank account number in the search box. To claw back millions in stolen funds and return the money to victims across Florida. Useful information, yeah. Here's how BEC works. Criminals hack a legitimate business email account. Then the attacker clones the email. Next, they use the fake email to target individuals who would normally transfer funds to that business. The most common type of BEC hit the Henkel family. It has been probably the hardest thing that I've gone through in my life. Most often, these criminals hack legitimate real estate related businesses, impersonate those entities, and trick home buyers into wiring money to the wrong account. All of the stones here, my wife laid. Brendan, who was in the middle of purchasing this Polk County home last fall, found out 20 minutes too late that this email, the one he thought was from his title company, was fake. And I got the wire instructions. The wiring instructions included the title company's logo and appeared to come from the employee Brendan had been dealing with. I transferred the, the money at Wells Fargo and then I left and I called the title company. They told me that they hadn't essentially asked for anything. By then, the $49,400 needed to close on the family's new house was gone. Please get the wire transfer done today to avoid any form of delay in closing. And last year, another hacker posed as a real estate attorney and tricked housing investor Barry Preston out of nearly 300 grand. They clearly were able to see the email exchanges going on. They opened separate files on that? The FBI went to work on both Brendan Henkel and Barry Preston's cases. They clawed back Barry's $290,000, but were unable to retrieve the Henkel family's life savings. There's a lot coming in all the time. N not enough resources, I guess. Pablo and Myra's success rate ranges from 40 to 70%. The sooner they realize it and the sooner they make that phone call or they file that complaint, the better the chances for recovering. How quickly does the complaint need to reach your desk for you to be successful? Honestly, as quickly as possible. How do you do what you do? We gather some more information from the victims sometimes. Uh, we gather information from other places. Our partnerships are a huge collaboration between banks and any other private entities. It doesn't matter how much you do this, how sophisticated you think you are, you still have to be careful. 
So where do all of these billions go? According to the FBI, banks located in Thailand and Hong Kong were the primary international destinations in 2021. Never wire money unless you verbally verify the transaction with the actual person you're doing business with. Victims who immediately report the fraud to the bank and the FBI via IC3.gov stand the best chance of recovering their stolen funds. I'm I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.